All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Eric Green. I'm the fire chief for Eastlander Fire Company Number Two. I welcome you all to the 2014 installation, 15 installation of the fire company officers. Uh, this is President Ben Thor, and he's going to start off with introduction of uh, some of our distinguished guests. Good evening, everybody. My name is Ben Thornton, and it's been my pleasure to be the president of East Windsor Volunteer Fire Company Number Two. Um, I want to thank you all for coming out tonight in the weather. Uh, we really appreciate it. We want you to have a good time with us tonight. And uh, relax. So at this time, I have the pleasure to introduce the East Windsor Township Council who've been very supportive of Station 46 and its efforts to serve our community. First, the Honorable Mayor Janice Marino. <laughs> Deputy Mayor Alan Rosenberg. <laughs> Councilman Hector Duke. Councilman Mark Lippman. <laughs> Councilman Perry Shapiro, who could not be here. <laughs> Councilman Peter Yeager. <laughs> and Councilman John Zola. <laughs> I'd also like to introduce some of the various uh, representatives from the different stations. Um, the president, vice president, I believe, at Cranberry, stage 48, Joe Guanabalanza. <laughs> um, president at 42, Jack Israel. some of the other township uh, personnel that are here. Uh, the Chief of Police, Harry Marshall, couldn't be with us tonight. Uh, township Manager, James Brady. <laughs> Public Works Director and Past Fire Chief of Station 46, William Askinstead. <laughs> tonight we have uh, some of our mutual aid fire companies. Uh, one, I want to thank you guys for everything you've done for us throughout the year, over the last year and a half. We've been through a bumpy road, but everything's changing, and you guys have stepped up and helped us a tremendous amount. Um, the mutual aid's working very well, and uh, we really appreciate it. From Station 321 Millstone, Deputy Chief Jeff Wagner. <laughs> Station 41 Chief Scott Jenkins. Station 42, Chief Jim McCann. Station 43, West Windsor, Assistant Chief Carmine Cirillo. Station 48, Chief Mike Cravan. And with us tonight is Squad 142, Chief Scott Perkinowski. Also tonight with us, we have the Knights of Columbus, Joe Perkinowski. From our local business, Conair Corporation, Vice President John Mayork. And I'm not sure if they made it yet or not, from KNS Farms, Kevin and Sharon Kyle. Uh, moving forward, we're going to have the mayor come up to do the installation of our fire officers and executive officers. Start with the fire officers and call up Deputy Chief Steve Gethy. Big city. <laughs> Captain Michael Trevisano. And Lieutenant 
Larkin and Patrick Brunetti. to recognize our community partners over at Twin Rivers. The Twin Rivers Trust representatives, if you'll please stand. Kathy. So before we jump right to dinner, we're going to go ahead and um, present one of our awards in the interest of time. Two of our awards. Um, and this year, I'm presenting the President's Award. Uh, this year, our executive board and membership together accomplished many goals set out in 2013. 
Uh, there are many that were instrumental in our success. I'd like to mention a few. First, I'd like to mention our Captain Mike Trevisano, who's brought a great deal of energy and ideas to our mission, stepping up as trustee this year. Um, Steve Genthy, who brought his experience and leadership to the company. Uh, Lennox Ng, who stepped up as vice president. I can go on and on. I can talk about Mark Cohen, who's all over the place. You can't keep me down. Um, and and there, you know, I wish I could mention everyone's name. Uh, but this year, um, I decided to give this award to a guy who's been silently and diligently con and consistently doing the work of the company for more than nine years. Um, having minutes and attendance and reports in order, uh, this member has uh, consistently dedicated himself to being our secretary for almost 10 years. And this year's President's Award goes to Ralph Simon Jewell. Speech. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know how to make a speech. He didn't have my award, so. But I think I earned it from what he said. I didn't hear it. I'd like to read this plaque. For your many years of outstanding and dedicated service to the East Friends of Volunteer Fire Company number two, thank you and congratulations. All right, I'm gonna start off with one word before we get dinner. I know everybody's hungry and they don't wanna hear speeches. Um, this award, I want to—it's more of a thank you award. Um, this person has done nothing but assist me um, throughout the last year and a half that I've been chief. Um, he was kind of my mentor, probably 20-something years ago when I was in the Crest Middle School, and I asked him to come do a speech for me. Um, to this day, he still helps us with whatever we need, and he furthers the benefit of the company. He's the past chief in 19 years. William Askins, can you please step up here, please? Representative William Maskins, the past chief, and grateful appreciation for your continuing support at East Windsor Fire Company number two. Thank you so much. So after I'm leaving this place, uh, 20 years as chief, um, it's nice to come back to see some of your kids growing up. Um, <laughs> the older fire police, you will remember a guy by the name of Morty, who came to me years ago and said, I got this kid, Eric, that really wants to do something. He's 16 years old, can we find something for him to do? Look where he is today, he's doing a great job as chief. Thank you, sir. Uh, we're gonna do one more and then it's dinner time. So what we do is, usually the milestone is about five years of service we like to give out to our members. Um, when I first came into the company, like Bill said, I joined in 1996. I was a junior member, I joined, they even changed the constitution. One of the members that were there when I first joined, um, kind of took me under his wing, showed me a bunch of stuff, and then he left, and he came back. And he's been an inspiration ever since. He's been nothing but helpful, always jumping in and wanting to do stuff. I'd like to call up Tommy Ortega.
right, I'm going to pass it off to dinner time, maybe? Anyone? Anyone? DJ? DJ? It's all yours. Uh, we're going to start back with the awards. All right, moving forward, we're going to start with the rest of the awards for the evening. I'm going to start with the top training award. Every year we do a top training award for the member who makes the most trainings, the, the drills, the uh, special assignments. Uh, this year, the, this member who have attended 36 company training drills during the course of 2014 out of 50 total drills, Benjamin Thornton. Top responders. Uh, for the first year and some of the other guys who have been here a lot longer than me might be able to help me, we did 504 calls for the year. I think that's the most Station 46 has ever had. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I want to first thank all the members of Station 46 for all your time and effort you guys put into responding to all these calls. I know it's a lot. I know we run a lot of mutual aid. But at the end of all this, you'll get a lot of good training and you'll meet a lot of good people. Uh, moving forward, uh, start with the uh, bottom, work our way up. Top 10 responder with 119 calls, couldn't be with us this evening, Victor Marcos. <laughs> Number 9 with 132 calls, Captain Michael Trevisano. <laughs> with 136 calls, Fire Police Captain Mark Cohen. With 137 calls, Benjamin Thornton. <laughs> 191 calls, Deputy Chief Steve Genthy. <laughs> Number five, Michael Crismali with 197 calls. Oh yeah, he's going to be number four, but <laughs> number five is Lieutenant Pat Bernetti. <laughs> number three with 204 calls, Sam Gomez Jr. <laughs> Why are you mad? <laughs> number two with 229 calls, Tommy Ortega. And with 240 calls, myself. Final award of the evening. <laughs> You're in timeout. For this year, we, we're doing a firefighter of the year along with the Knights of Columbus. Firefighter of the year for 2014. Firefighters define courage. They're not only many volunteer groups that are expected to be on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They leave their jobs or their family at a moment's notice and rush to the firehouse for someone else's emergency placing themselves in harm's way for the sake of quite often a complete stranger. I believe we take for granted the time and effort that goes into hundreds of hours of training the volunteer firefighters and what they put forth, all the family time they miss because of their dedication to helping others. This particular mem member has stood out this year and has gone above and beyond anything I've ever asked of him as a volunteer. Keep in mind, volunteer. 
He is always willing to help, stepping up with the training, learning new things, and really has shown what dedication is. This member responds to any and all emergency calls that are 365 days a year and probably the only member who is always in shorts and a tank top, even though it's below freezing. I am pleased to call up Michael Crismalia's 2014 Firefighter of the Year. Thank everybody for coming out. Um, there are some other members here, life members that have come out. Um, I know it's been a journey to try to track them down, to bring back the heritage of the fire company. Um, just like to introduce some tonight. With us we have Murray Matlowski, former fire police. <laughs> Marvin Lesser. <laughs> Dick Cunningham. Some of our other light members we have here, Tracy Anthony, Marvin Mandel, JJ, Bill Wellen, Mark Cohen, Bill Askinstead. Marcin Symex, a life member. I'm not done yet. Hills are kicking in, aren't they? <laughs> we'll talk about them later. Bill Cradleman. <laughs> the one I can't see in the back, Mike Schiffman. Coming out, you guys, you know, stand for what 46 is. You guys were there at the beginning, and you're still here today. If I missed anybody, I apologize. But like I said, we're trying to bring back the heritage of the company and show some of these young members what it was like back 20, 30, 40 years ago. Thank you guys for all coming. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Keep on. 